Oh, hi. Yep, I'm carrying 1,000 watts of, of solar, solar power. power. Now, was kind of fascinated about the foldable solar panels. Try it out. So this is my first one when I got out here. This is my first uh, on Amazon. This is my first uh, one, Dokyo. It's a 200 watt solar panel and it folds out. And this is a kit, a 200 watt. And well, they it's like 220 watts, something like that, but it's actually like a 200 watt. But uh, there's no uh, stand, you know, you just lay it against something. And the problem is red faded away from the sun. This is quite flimsy. Put it on a piece of wood and well, I built something and uh, it was, it's really heavy and I, want to frame all of these with uh, just uh, like an A-frame for a door or something like that. And I got a little bit of wood and that's what we're going to do. Uh, so it's a lot lighter. So I made this where it's six by four feet and I cut it in half and I have some hinges here so I can move it around. Well, I decided I don't really need that. Now I got it where it just lines up with a Velcro. Just like this. But when you have 25 mile an hour plus wind, it catches it and then it foot. Yeah, so this is the mounting. It's really clumsy, kind of hard to mount. I like the fact that it's portable. It's a little lighter than the other ones, we'll, which we'll get to. Also, in the heat, I don't know what like the way they have this connector because it heats up really fast. Now what I got here, all power. And this is a 200 watt. The panels are more solid. MC connectors, which I had to custom make a few of my own and I've never done it before and it was a pain in the butt, but I figured it out so it's all good. The only problem with this kit though is my angle it's kind of a hard because uh you got flimsy there is a kickstand and when you put it out it makes it too high you want to make that a little better i want to be able to have my angle right to get the ultimate performance so i got some wood and we're going to frame it Welcome, welcome, good morning. It's about 70 and it's uh, kind of windy. It's supposed to get up to 90 today. So we're uh, back and I built the frame and just the L, uh, L brackets. And then I got L brackets on the other side. It works. It's uh, really light, really easy to transport. I got this and I got the holes and everything ready to go. So, so we got some bolts here. All right, so there's that. Now on the other side, put a washer and a bolt. And I don't have my ratchet set, so I kind of have to improvise. That's one thing when you're out in the field uh, and you're like, well, I forgot this at home, forgot that. You know, you, you gotta kind of do with what you have and this is pretty much what I got. So I got this nut, uh, nut here. Now I want to double it up and then lock it like that. And probably one at the end too, maybe. There's a reason why, and I'll show you in a second. There we go, it's locked. And then I wanna do maybe two more. 
I don't know. Maybe. Then now we want to go ahead and come over here and do it on the opposite side. Now what we're going to use is I had a tent that broke. Now I still have the carbon fiber tubing and the bigger ones that have the, uh, the bigger diameter. I have that and I recycled it and it actually fits over the bolt and it's secure. So what we're gonna do is put some stakes on here. So I just got my Coleman stove here and we got some shrink grab one inch. And what I'm gonna do is so this side goes over the bolt. The stake is gonna go like this. really lightweight, recyclable, but yeah, just uh, roll it, and you could use a lighter too, but I kind of like this so that you can, I mean, you're trying to do it with a heat gun too, but when it cools off, it's going to be this is gonna be really uh, secure. We took care of this and it's all cooled off and it's rock solid. I mean, it ain't moving. <laughs> it's not moving, so, yep. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it down and now we're gonna lay out our solar panel. There's already holes where I, uh, we drilled ones. Now there's already screw holes that I did. So one inch diameter washers in a screw that just uh, goes right through uh, this uh, hole here. There we go. Now that we got it laid out, which we got to face south. Now we take our stakes and it just goes in all in there and we can set our angle. whatever we want there we are it's really secure so there you go for the foldable uh, frame this project is tied to another one if you like this content make sure you subscribe and like the video Thanks for watching. Be back for another one.